Hello, felting friends. Welcome to video number two in my Basics of Needle Felting series. I'm just going to adjust my camera here a little bit. Um, so I had already filmed another video that I was going to put up first, but then I decided I didn't like how that one went, and I think I want to change the order I'm doing them anyway. So this one is going to be on making a barrel shape, tube shape. There's one there, shape for a leg. So this is what we're going to do today. However, before I get started on that, I had a question in my last video about needles and what needle I was using. And I should have told you what needle I was using and totally forgot about that. So I thought I would show you what needles I like to use and when I like to use them. These are all the different sizes that I currently have. There's more, but these are the ones that I find that I use the most, with the exception of this one. So these three here came with the Amazon kit that I did a video on um, not long ago. And this is the biggest one, and I'm guessing this is probably like a 32. And it's okay. I think I used it a little bit in the first video. It's okay when you're first starting, but I don't know if it's just because, I mean, it's not the best quality needle, but I just find it harder to work with. So I tend to not use this one. And um, I don't know if you can see, this is about as far in as I can put it in, in at this stage. Now when it's looser, I can go in further. Um, which is what you want it to do, but I just find this one harder to work with. I don't know because it's bigger or what it is. So I tend to never use this one. So I'm going to just put that one aside for now. Okay. So in my last video, I was asked which needle I was using. And when I first started, I was using this middle size one that came with the Amazon kit. And I'm thinking this is probably a 36. Um, this worked really well. I liked how it felted. I cannot use it in my clover tool uh, because it's too big. So my clover tool, not this one, this one has the next size, which is this one. And I'm guessing this is probably a 38. So I have two, two clover tools. I bought one and then I got one as a gift. So in one of my clover tools, I have this needle. And then in the other one, I have the purple needle, which I'll get to in a second. So, um, so anyway, this one, I could put this into, uh, where is it? I could put that into this if I wanted to, um, and use this. And I'm thinking, let's see, what needle does, it actually, I think it already has these needles in it. So this came with the kit and it looks like it's the same size. So I think these are the same needles and I could um, like not use all eight of them. I could take some of them out, use like four or something like that. I'm just not a fan of this tool, so I don't use it very much. Um, so this is probably the 38 that I use the most when first starting to felt my wool. Um, then the numbers, the smaller the needle, the bigger the numbers. So then the next one that came with the kit is, I'm thinking, a 38. And I believe these are all flat. I don't think any of them, they don't look like they have any triangles. But you can get a triangle shape, you can get a, or a, you can get a star shape, you can get a spiral, you can get a triangle. There's all sorts of different ones that you can get. I just haven't, I found what's worked for me and I haven't delved into getting other ones. I'm not sure exactly what ones are coming with my kit yet. Um, I will find that out on Friday when I go to pick them up. So we'll let you know what that is. So that would be the 38, I'm thinking. Now this one is what came with my clover tool. And it appears to be pretty close to the one I got with the kit. Um, 
So I'm thinking that this is also a 38. The only reason I can tell the difference between them is if you look at the, this is a little bit shorter than this one. I probably should swap them back out and take those ones out of my clover tool since they're probably the same size because I noticed that when I, let's see, when I take this apart here, it kind of is scratching on the inside. You can see that so I really probably should switch those out since I think they are the same tool which I might do here in a second so all right so this is the one that came with the kit this is the one that came with my clover tool now these ones I purchased from living felt and I will put a link to them down below in the description um, these are all 40s and I kind of go back and forth with them. The green one is a triangle. So this is actually a 40 triangle. So that means that there's three sides to it, which I can't tell the difference, but maybe you can. Um, so this one is good for fine work, small details, and fine wool. The yellow is a 42 triangle. So this one is actually even smaller. And this one is good for finishing surface and fine details. And then the purple one, which you can't really tell because it's kind of rubbed off, is a 40 spiral. And it is for rapid and fine and great for finishing. And I really like the 40 spiral for finishing up the end of my work. I, I almost always grab the, the purple one when I'm finishing my work. I think it just gives me a really smooth um, finish to it. So those are the needles. I will try and remember to tell you which one I am using when I go to use them in our projects. So on with what we're going to do today. Hopefully you've been practicing your balls from the first video um, and you're going to want to have one on hand because we are going to use it for our project and I'm not sure if we're going to do the project today or in the next video. It's going to depend on how long this video takes. So as I said, we're going to do barrels. Okay, so a barrel, I don't know, a tube, whatever you want to call it, um, it's really good for animal bodies. Um, that's what I tend to use it mostly for. The one project that we have going today or t next time, we're going to use this as the body. And then we have littler ones, and these we are going to use for legs. So this is a little bit bigger than what I want to make for what we're going to do. But here you can see, this is the premise of, let me get another one here how they would go together. And so this I think would be like really good for like a cow or maybe a sheep, um, something along those lines, but we're going to do something that's a little lower profile. So we're going to do shorter legs. So let's get started with that. So I have here a piece of batting core wool. And I wanted to tell you sizes. So this is roughly, uh, it looks like almost five inches wide by probably nine inches, a little hangover, nine inches long. So to do this, we basically want to kind of use half of it. So I'm just going to pull this in half and we'll save the rest for something else. And what we're going to do is just like we did with the ball, we're going to roll it up really tightly. I'm just going to kind of tuck in some of the initial ends here, but we're going to kind of roll it, tucking the ends a little bit, as tight as you can get it. Now remember, it's going to be bigger than what you're going to be doing. So I'm using the middle size needle here, probably a 38 or what do they say? 36, I think. So I'm just going to kind of hold it together here and I'm going to tuck in the 
sides so I don't have all that hanging out. See how I'm kind of flattening that out. Do the same on the other side. So you can see my needle's going in pretty far here because there's not, you know, it's still very, very soft. If I were to take that big one, it's, it's, it goes in a lot harder. See, I'm, I'm like really having to push it to get in here compared to how nicely this one goes in. So it's, it's really a lot about feel. All right, I'm going to stick my finger guards on here just to get this end here a little bit better. But if you find you're getting a lot of resistance, go down to a smaller needle. That's all you have to do. So I'm going to, all right, let's compare that to size. Okay, so you can see, hopefully, that this is a little bit smaller. So we're gonna add to that. So we're gonna take the other, I don't know if I wanna use the whole thing, so I'm just gonna pull it apart in half and roll half of it onto here. Because I'd rather have too little and have to add more than too much and not be able to take it off. Get that needle out of my way. Okay, so we're gonna just kind of add this on. Now you don't want to get this too firm because we are still going to add color to it, and if you get it too firm it's harder to add your color. So, and I played around with a couple different colors. I'm, I'm still, I have to study up on my different kinds of wool. I'm not very knowledgeable of that. I just kind of buy by color and what I like, and I am finding, you know, which kind of wools work better than others. And I have some notes that I've written down that I want to do a video on wool. Um, sometime here in the near, near future, but I figure to start, most people are probably just using the kit and what comes with the kit, so um, we're going to go with that. And I don't remember what the name of the wool is that my kit that I've put together is. I'll have to check my email from the lady who's putting them together for me. Okay, so now... You see it's kind of a little more fluffy on this side, but I mean, that's okay. Um, but I can now tell that this needle is harder going in now. I could use my clover tool for this as well. I'm just going to kind of get it so it's pretty even. All right, so let's compare it. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, um, it's a little narrower up here, but that's fine. It's not going to hurt anything. All right, so I'm going to stop that here. Kind of roll it a little bit. So there's one barrel. Now let's do the smaller ones. Um, okay, so let me show you. Let me get another piece of batting here so I can show you. Uh, sizes. All right, so I, I like this the size um, to start with. So to do the the legs, I'm going to tear it in half first, and then I'm going to tear it into quarters. And I don't need this much for a leg because I don't want it to be really really fat. So I'm going to pull that in half, and I think that's probably about the size. When I'm doing something that I need more of one. I like to do them together because when I first started I would do one and I would attach it and then I would do another one and it wouldn't be the same size. So I like to kind of do them all together at the same at the same time. So 
if I have my pieces of wool that all look here, this one, that are all pretty uniform in size, then hopefully I'm going to get the same. This one's a little bit smaller, so I think I'm going to, let's see, pull a little bit off of this one here. All right, so they're pretty close. This one looks like it's a little bit, a little bit wider. All right, so I have my four pieces because we're going to make a little critter that has four legs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with one. And we're going to do the same thing as we did with the, the big one, and we're just going to roll it up as tight as we can. And I'm just going to kind of engage it with my other ones. Okay, so this is pretty long. Um, as you can see, that's probably about the same length as I had here. So that's a lot longer than what I want. So I think I'm going to pull a little bit more off of there. And I'll do that with each of these so I don't forget. That one's kind of small already. So, so this piece is roughly, um, probably about an inch and a half by yeah, almost four inches, not quite four inches. So I'm going to, let's roll this again. And now you see on these ones that I did here, how it's still very fluffy up here. That's so we can attach it to the body. So I'm only going to fell on the one end and leave the other end open. So let me get just a little bit started here and grab my guards because this one's going to be a little trickier. So where are your finger guards? Because I've already started to stab my fingers. And I'm using the um, the bigger, the 36 needle again here. So I'm just tapping away at a 90 degree angle to the wool. And then I will go down along here. Now I only need Probably, I'm going to switch to the 38 here. I really only need, I'm just looking at my little project that we're going to do here in a second. Probably only that much. So that is just under an inch. I might take it to about an inch. Whoops. These ones were just over an inch. This one's just over an inch. So I'm going to make it smaller than that. So I'm just leaving the top part of it fluffy. And I'm going to felt these down a little bit further than I did the body because this is going to be a leg and we want it to be able to stand. We want it to support it. So we'll do more once we put the color on, but for the moment I really want to get it down pretty good. Make the bottom flat so it will stand. Okay, so I think that will that will work. So then this part we're just going to gently pull apart and there might be a little bit too much here, but we can cut some of it off. So this way we can attach it to our body. And let's see here. 
Okay, let me come down a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think that'll work. Because you're going to lose, even the, like this part here isn't really felted very much, but when I start to attach it, it's going to kind of shrink down a little bit more. So I think that's about the size I want to put. All right, so now I have my first one done. I'm going to do the other four the same way. And I'm just going to kind of use this one as a guide to make sure my other ones are all the same size. So I will speed up the video from here. I'm going to do the same thing. You can either watch me do the other four feet, other three feet, or you can go ahead and jump ahead to the next section. So I will see you, talk to you when I get the four legs done. Okay, there we go. I got four little legs here. I'll just pull this one apart. Okay, so there we go. This one's a little bit longer. I think I felted this one a little bit further up. Okay, so there we have four little legs and a body. Now, the only other thing you need is a head. Let me get which one? This one, which we made last time. So, this is what you are going to need for our project a head, a body, four legs, and now color is up to you. I'm going to go with pink, but you could make your little critter any color that you want. Um, I'm going to stop this here and see how long we are. Oh, it looks like we're at 30 minutes. Oh, I think I'm going to stop here and I'm going to pick up a new video with what we're going to make. So. Stay tuned for putting all these pieces together and you will see what we're going to make in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you are new, um, I have a Facebook group. I will link it below that you are welcome to join. Um, I am Friday picking up my beginner kits. So 
keep an eye out for that. I will post it in Facebook and I will also put it in the next coming video where you can purchase a kit. Um, it's limited on the quantity, so get it in soon. I can get more, but I'm only ordering 20 to start with. So um, if I have more orders than that, more people who want it, I will place another order with her. So I'm excited to get that and break it down for you and I will do an unboxing. So next video, we will put all these little pieces together and make ourselves a little animal. And I'll show you what it is in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Please comment, like, subscribe. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I will try and get back to you as soon as I can. So have a great day and we will see you on the next video.